<laughs> I love that drill. Jeez. And look how nice this will go straight up. Boom. Oh, yeah. And oops. Why is that one short? Hey, gang, welcome back to the channel. I'm Paul with Stud Pack, and today we're going to start grouting this shower. We're going to start with the shower walls and the tub deck. I've got my four protected already. We're going to be using my pay Ultra Color Plus FA. FA means fine aggregate. This is an all in one grout, rapid setting, which makes my heart go a little rapid sometimes, right? <laughs> Foot traffic in three to four hours, and no sealer required, although you can put it on there if you want. We used this same product on the shower floor. It came out fantastic. We're gonna use it again. I've got my bucket set up, mixing bucket, nice clean bucket of water. I got my drill and a quart of water measured out. And you're ready to go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get this thing mixed up and start grouting. Alrighty guys, the grout is in, it's just drying. It's gonna get darker as it dries, of course. So while we're waiting for it to harden so we can finish it, let's go in the bedroom here and work on this tub so it's ready to be installed. So the owners purchased a new Moen faucet for this tub, so we're gonna remove this old one. My goal is to remove the handles and the spout and have this whole thing drop from underneath. Let's see if we can do it. First step, Got a metric Allen wrench and a set screw behind the spout. What do you think, Jordan? It'll spin off? I think it'll spin off because there's threads underneath. That's that's my bet. No. Nope. Oh. Pulled right up. Look at that. Well, that's why I don't gamble. Yeah. Well, I felt like it wasn't spinning. Right. All right. Well, that was easy. There's the... Uh, let's get the discussion off of there. So I don't know if it's going to drop from underneath. It looks like this was put in from above and everything soldered on there. I could try to remove this clip right here, mm -hmm. but let's get these faucets off and then we'll see what's going on. Smart. 
that nut will not come off of there. We'll use the basin wrench, put this wrench on the handle for more leverage, but it would not come off. I don't want to risk cracking this fiberglass, so got my little jab saw. It holds an old hacksaw blade. So I'm gonna get in here and cut that nut off like that. I don't know any other way to do it. There we go. Wow. Whew. All right. Now that that's loose. Check. Almost there. All right, all that's left is that little snap ring. That's a snap ring. I don't have any snap ring pliers with me. I have some at home. I deformed it so much, you think it would just... Um, all right, we did what we wanted to do with the tub, and that was get the old faucet off and then see what we needed tomorrow to install this thing. As an example, this will not fit in that hole, so I know I need an inch and a quarter hole saw to enlarge that. So I've made the list. I'll go pick all that up in the morning, and we'll put this in tomorrow. But you know what, Jordan? I think that grout's about ready. You want to go check it out? Let's check it out, man. All right. It's been two hours, right? Right. Almost. I think she's ready. If I push hard with my finger, I can make a indention. So let's try this Marshalltown grout scrubber. I got these from Lowe's. It does a good job getting off that haze. Yeah, these have worked really well for us in the past. Let's try it on the grout. Yeah, it's working, but let me try a sponge. You know, I think I like the sponge better. I have a little more control and it leaves the, the grout line looking great. It's almost buffing the grout line. Yep. These work really well on um, like glazed subway tile and it worked awesome in the shower. You saw us do that. But we think a sponge is probably better on these large tiles. Just seem to have more control. I don't know if it's a water absorption thing or what. You know, I think but, when you use the sponge on the tile where the grout lines are really close in proximity, the sponge just adds a lot of water. Could be. But that's done. Yep. And the whole conversation, you just got that whole thing done. Yep. Sweet, man. Why don't you grab yours and we'll knock this thing out in no time. Let's do it. All right. Nice job, bud. Yeah, that looks awesome, man. So the trick is a super dry sponge. Look at this. No water. Whoa, a little bit. Oh, <laughs> that's just because you're so strong. Right. But you saw how dry that was. It's really dry. Yeah, and that's the key. So tomorrow we'll come in here and we'll use silicone color matched caulk. I'll try to find the alabaster and the cobblestone colors, do all that, and get this tub set. So we'll see you tomorrow. Hey gang, it's the next day and we're ready to start the installation of this tub in our bathroom. Super excited that we can finally get this thing out of their master bedroom. We realized yesterday that we have to enlarge this hole right here for the spout. It needs to be an inch and a quarter. I drilled this inch and a quarter hole in this piece of plywood. We're gonna center it over there and drill it out. It works great, so check this out. Now that we have our hole drilled, let's turn this thing on its side and start plumbing in this new valve. All right, we've got our three parts mounted according to the directions. And then obviously the hot one has a red stem up here and the cold has a blue one. So just to remind me, I put hot here and cold here so I don't get them backwards. It's not like I've ever done that before. <laughs> so now what we can do is line these up and you see that shoulder right there? That's the internal stop in here for this piece of pipe right here. So I'm just gonna mark it like that. And that's where we'll cut this part. Do the same thing to this one. Now let's cut these two off and assemble the whole thing together. We're gonna cut these with these little compact cutter right here. Works great, check it out. 
I'm just going to line the cutter wheel up with my mark, close it, and then turn it. Let's see. It's spring loaded, so it puts pressure on that cutting wheel as you turn it. And there we go. Now I'm going to take the reamer on this tubing cutter and clean off that little burr that's in there. We've got the pipe facing down so everything falls out. Let's do this one. I don't know if I'll be able to get in there. Yeah, I'll have to take it off. I got to take it off anyway to assemble them. All right, these three original holes in the deck are not in a straight line. They curved them to try to match the curvature of the tub. Our new valve, they are in a straight line. So we elongated the middle hole for the spout to accommodate for that. So we are gonna put some silicone around the bottom of each of these and dry fit it. And if it fits, we're gonna solder it. I've already fluxed these. Here's the flux we use. Dang, is that new flux? It is new flux. I finally wore out a little bottle of it. <laughs> I haven't seen a little you jar of with it. a new bottle of flux in like years. Yeah, <laughs> it lasts me a long time. All right, let's put this together and push the whole valve body in there. We put the silicone on the bottom of the tub deck. We thought it'd be easier than trying to put it on top of those washers. Right. All right, you ready, bud? Yep. All nice. Right. All right, gang. There are no provisions in the instructions for removing the cartridges in order to solder. You always need to be mindful of the fact that you have plastic parts inside of here. They don't even mention it, so I believe that's why they put these extensions on at the factory, so your heat is away from here. But just as insurance, we put a damp rag around the, the spout body here and this valve body, and then we're going to solder this one connection and then move to this side. So let's get that done. Cool. Nice. All right, so all you plumbers out there, don't make fun of my little torch. I got that from the hardware store because my old one broke. But drop me a comment as to what kind I should buy. I've been looking around. I'd appreciate it. All right, Jordan, let's cool that off and start working on the drain. All right, now that our valve body is soldered, now we have to prep the drain. So we have to remove this old fitting that uses a slip joint nut because we're going to have a glued waste and overflow. So let's cut this thing out of here. Nice. All right, let's clean this up and then go attach the waste and overflow tubing to the tub. Then we can bring the tub in here and measure the distance for this new piece of pipe. Cool, man. And I've got some emery cloth to clean that plastic. But it's pretty dirty since it's been buried all these years. I'm just attacking it from all four sides until I get it as clean as I can. That feels pretty good. We'll go around the inside, take off that burr. That feels pretty good, Jordan. glue on this coupling. All right, let's go finish the drain assembly on the tub, and then we're getting really close to setting this tub in here for good. All right, so when we had the tub set in its location, I crawled underneath and I marked this piece to length. I cut it and I glued on the T. Now this is ready to go. So we're gonna attach this to the tub 
and then we'll mark and cut this pipe to length and glue it all together. Once that's done, it'll be ready to set in the tub and measure for this little short piece of pipe that goes between this T and that coupling we just put in. There we go gang, that's all glued up. It's ready to put back in the opening and measure for this short piece of pipe. And you'll notice this is all glued up. The code where we live doesn't allow the slip joint fittings anymore. It has to be glued. And it's a bigger drain anyway, so the tub will drain faster. All right, bud, you ready to put that thing in there? Been ready. Two more times. <laughs> all right. All right, there's the piece of pipe we cut, glued into that coupling. And now you can see how this T is just gonna drop right on there. Hopefully. Yep, and we're almost ready for that. But first, we gotta pull the tub out one more time. We're gonna put some mortar under here and it's gonna act as a setting compound to make up the space between the slab and these pads on the bottom of the tub. So it'll be very well supported. So let's go outside and mix up some mortar. All right, gang, we got the hot and cold soldered together. Now at the beginning of the video, you saw where the hot was too short, but the hot, this one, was coming around this way on the back side of the cold. So I just moved it to the other side and I had a more straight shot from, from here where my right hand is to the valve. And that gave us just enough extra pipe to, to reach and it went straight on. So that's perfect. All right, again, we're going to wrap up this video. This tub has set up. The mortar is keyed in around the bottom of the tub. It does not move at all. It is solid as a rock. We screwed the fittings on, the hot and the cold and the spout, just to see how it looks. Looks incredible. You'll notice we haven't silicone around the edges yet. I'm having some trouble finding a color match caulk for the Mapai grouts, but that's my mission for tomorrow. 
Also tomorrow, the glass guys come and measure for our glass door and the mirror, and the countertop guys are also gonna be here. So while all that's being made, we're gonna finish painting this thing, and it's gonna look awesome. So if you like the video, be sure to smash that like button for us. Leave us a comment below, ask a question, and subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate that, and we will see you on the next one. Yes, sir.